Hello everybody and welcome back to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports for my official preview of the Springboks versus Island game which will take place at Stade de France which is behind me tomorrow evening. 9 o'clock kickoff. The weather today has been very rainy but as you can probably see the sun has come out and it is expected to dry up. Tomorrow conditions are looking a lot better. Looks like it should be pretty dry. Uh, it should be pretty cool, not as, um, as warm as it has been in the past two weekends. For example, no water breaks are currently uh, scheduled for this weekend. So uh, much cooler weather and it should be a lot easier for the players to cope. But in terms of the game, it's going to be a difficult one. It's going to be a very high intensity game and it's definitely going to be a game that's really going to push every single player to its limits. Uh, in terms of the teams, before we look at the teams in, in, in a second, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Both teams going very much full strength. Uh, you know, with, apart from a few injuries, I don't think these two squads get a lot stronger. We'll start with the island side, uh, which was announced yesterday. They've gone with an orthodox 5-3 split. Um, have not been sort of drawn into changing their plans because of how uh, the Springboks have named their side. So to go through the island side, it is as follows. In the front row, Andrew Porter, Ronan Kelleher and Tyg Furlong. The second row, we'll see Tyg Byrne, partner James Ryan. The back row is Pido Marnie, Josh van der Fleer, current World Player of the Year, as well as Kaelin Doris. A very strong side, um, front row, very strong second row, very strong loose for trio as well. It's a great pack at the end of the day. Tyg Furlong, one of the best tight ends in the world. That should be a great battle between him and Stephen Kitsov. We look at the back line, Jamison Gibson Park returns to the starting lineup. He will partner Johnny Sexton in that sort of, uh, in, in that halfback pairing. James Lowe, Mac Hansen will have a little bit of weight and size on their on their counter box, uh, which doesn't always happen in the case of, of Mac Hansen, who's not the biggest wing out there. James Lowe, pretty solid, 100 kgs. They're gonna have to contend with the likes of Kurt Lawrence and Chesen Colby, who will present a bit of a different challenge in the centers. Probably the form player of the tournament, Bundy Ackett inside center next to Gary Ringrose. That should be a massive uh, test for the box centers. And then at fullback, one of the best in the business in Hugo Keenan. Off the bench for the men from Ireland, it is as follows. Dan Sheehan, David Kilcoyne, Finlay Bielham, Ian Henderson, Ryan Beard, Conor Murray, Jack Crowley and Robbie Henshaw. So plenty of quality for Ireland as well off the bench. The likes of Conor Murray is a, is a, a test match centurion. Somebody like Dan Sheehan is one of the best, if not currently probably the best hooker at the World Cup uh, with the injuries to, to Jordan, Julian Marchand as well as Malcolm Marks. So a big game for him who does return and makes his first appearance uh, of the World Cup. In terms of the Springboks, a 7-1 split. That has been the talk of the town this week and uh, very interesting to see how that will be implemented. So if we look at the Springbok side, it is as follows. Stephen Kitsoff in the front row next to Bongi Manambi and France Moherba. Uh, so if Bongi Manambi just getting that starting spot back with the injury to Malcolm Marks. In the second row, Ibn Etzebeth and Franco Mostert return to reignite that partnership. No Lua Diago, so Franco Mostert has been elevated into that starting role where he has started to look a lot better, a lot more like his old self in the past few games. The loose trio of Sia Khaleesi, Pierce de and Jasper Visa from Scotland also returns um, with all three of them given the weekend off last weekend. Jasper Visa on the bench but uh, remained as a new sub uh, in that game against Romania. The halfback pairing is five to Klerk next to Molly Liebach who will have a lot of pressure to deal with tomorrow. This is a game where tries might not be, uh, tries could be a premium, might not be uh, that hard try scoring of a game and therefore your kicks a goal, your penalties become very important. Molly Liebach has been under a lot of pressure uh, from the media and from fans with regards to his goal kicking. The Springbok management generally not too worried about it but it is something that he will have to be cognizant of this weekend. The centre pairing of Damien Day, Lindy, Jesse Creel, big and physical is the name of the game. Obviously not, not to say that Andre Estes isn't, but Damien Day, Lindy, a far more direct player. Very good defensively are Creel and Day, Lindy, and that's going to be very important in trying to shut down Bundy Aki and Gary Ringrose. And then in terms of X Factor, Chesham Colby in the 11, Kurt Lawrence at 14, Damien Billings has gotten the nod at 15. A lot of excitement across that back three. Really good under the high balls. Damien Phillips are great defensively. And then we're talking about pace, pace, and more pace in the forms of Chairs and Colby and Kirtley Aronso. Off the bench, it is then Dion Ferri, Oxen Chair, Trevin Yukani covering the front row. And then a 7 1 split means that Arches Neyman, Jean Klein, Marco Van Staden, and Quaka Smith all feature on the bench. Kubus Reinhardt, the only natural backline player. Uh, in that bench. The 7-1 split has caused a lot of commotion. It is only because of a player like Quaker Smith, who's not even the biggest forward to be honest, who makes the 7-1 split uh, uh, possible. People talking about the fact that he might be able to play in the centres if needs be. He does cover wing, he does cover the flank. Mark of the covering hooker on the flank. That is kind of the theme of the South African side. I don't think there's a single player, bar maybe a France Mahoba and Stephen Kitsov, 
uh, and, and, and Bongi Manambi who could, can't sort of play in different positions. Very much a team where, where players can switch around and are very versatile. Um, versatility has always been the name of the game for the Springbok coaching staff and this team very much uh, a testament to that. In terms of the game itself, expect it to be very big up front. Uh, the scrum battle should be very interesting. Lineouts as well. Ireland have struggled a little bit with their lineouts so far in the tournament. So you expect them to keep things a bit simple. South Africa as well, obviously with Dion Ferri and Mark of the Stard, and that's potential hooker options of throwing the ball into the lineout in the latter stages. Uh, are not something they've been doing a lot recently. But uh, hopefully that would be a no issue come the game tomorrow. Apart from that, expect some uh, big games from the likes of uh, you know Gary Ringrose and Jesse Creel. I think should be a really good combination. The two tens though and the two nines will very much take centre stage. Fafta Kirk will do a lot of the kicking. The Springboks will kick off nine a lot. He'll have a lot of responsibility. Johnny Sexton has looked very good against. Wouldn't say subpar media opposition, but against teams that are not going to be quite the same quality. He will not have the time he's had against Tonga and Romania that he will have tomorrow with PSD the toy and Franco Mosso probably barreling down that channel. The Aspi Beast as well, probably looking to make a couple of hits on him. So they'll be looking, making it, uh, looking to make it very uncomfortable for Johnny Sexton. The question is, will he be able to cope? We'll find that out tomorrow. Let me know what your score predictions are down in the comments below. Let me know who you're supporting and how you think this game will go. Please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Reporting from Stade de France, this has been Stevie P with the official preview. Will join us tomorrow for the official watch along.